guys, so in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing slash first impressioning Is there even a word? Anyway, you get what I'm talking about Two products that I think that I can say that they're pretty popular here on YouTube and on Instagram People are talking about them, I wanna know how they will look on my face I wanna try them out for the first time with you guys today So we're gonna start off with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Wow, so many F's <laughs> I know that I'm a little bit late with this, but better late than ever. I have this in the shade Angel Food. I got only one shade because um, this thing is expensive and I um, it better be good. It better match me, okay? Um, they have a really nice color, color selection, color range. That's, that's the word I was searching for, color range. And then we're also going to try out the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Defined um, Concealer. This was way more affordable, so I got three shades. Yay! <laughs> so uh, without losing any time, let's do this. I'm super excited for today's video. Okay, so I already have my daily moisturizer on. Now on the one side of my face, probably this one, I'm gonna use some primer. This is the Professional by Benefit. So, you know, we can see if there is any difference with primer without primer, we're gonna be testing it out today. Just gonna apply this on the left side of my face. Now I have some, um, these are not active blemishes, no, these are uh, the remainings of active blemishes. I had a terrible diet a couple of weeks ago and this is the result. So eat healthy guys. I'm very curious if that foundation will cover these things. This is how it looks, I mean you guys have probably seen it already, but this is plastic and it's very lightweight. So on the one side of my face, I'm gonna use the Real Techniques makeup sponge to apply it on my face and on the other side, I'm gonna use a brush. I don't really like applying my foundation with brushes, but I'm sure that some of you guys would like to see how it looks if it's applied with a brush, so I'm gonna do it for you. Again, this is the shade Angel Foot. I think that this is pretty much enough. Let's, let's see. Smells weird. The texture is a very smooth and it's like a cream. It's like a kind of like a thick cream. Look, it covered everything. I want to bring you guys a little bit closer. You, you barely see what I'm doing. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we're extremely close right now. It's kind of awkward, but um, you know, it's it's so that you can see what I'm doing better. Now, a little bit goes a very long way. I think that I should mention that. Now, this is the first foundation that I have that has such a, a different texture and consistency, but um, I kinda like it. Maybe this shade is a little bit light for me, uh, but let's try to add one more layer here. pretty buildable, like, look. I don't like the scent of this, it's weird. That's the best way to describe it, it's weird. It's, uh, it's bad. Okay, so this is how it looks um, when it's applied with a sponge. I think that the coverage is just fantastic. It covered everything. However, I added a second layer of it just on the areas that I felt like I needed some more coverage, which is right here where I had um, some acne scars and um, around my nose. I also have a pimple right here, which was not invited today, but it decided to show up. So what can we do? Up close, you can definitely tell that you have foundation on. It's quite a thick foundation, but let's go ahead and apply it with sponge. I'm going to use the Sigma F80. I think that this amount is gonna be okay, so... Maybe it's a little bit too much, okay. So when I apply it with a brush, I have some dry patches on my face and it definitely exaggerated them. I don't really like it how it looks when I apply it with a brush. However, when it's applied with a sponge, it looks a lot better. Now I stopped one of the lumps that I'm using so that you can... So that you can see my texture better. This is an extremely painful close-up of my skin. I hope you guys appreciate it. This is how it looks. I think that I like it a lot more when I used a sponge to apply it. I'm also going to use a sponge on the other side of my face to kind of cover up 
the areas that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. I feel like the brush is not giving you the most full coverage that you can get out of this foundation. So now let's try out that Makeup Revolution concealer. I have them in the shade C1, C2 and C3. Let's do some swatches. Oh wow, that's a huge doll foot applicator. Okay, that's, that's big. All right, starting off with the shade C1. This is the shade C2 and this is the shade C3. C1, C2 and C3. I think that I'm gonna go with the shade C... Hmm, C1. I'm not gonna use like a ton of um, concealer. I'm gonna try to blend it out with my finger. It's blending out pretty easily. It's a little bit sticky. And it's also drying out pretty quickly. Okay, let's try to add a little bit more on the other side. I'm gonna blend it out with the sponge that I used to apply my foundation, but I'm using a clean side. I have this concealer for about two minutes under my eyes now, and I can see it creasing already, which means that I will definitely need to set it with some powder. However, the coverage is it's pretty good. We have to admit that. Let me let me apply the color C2 on my eyelids. I'm gonna use it today as an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go get some setting powder and I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so that you can see my under eye situation. <laughs> Okay, so this is the eye that I used a very small amount of concealer and I also used my finger to blend it out. So as you can tell, there are some creases happening there. And this is the eye that I used a little bit more, in fact, a lot of bit more <laughs> concealer and I used the sponge to blend it out. And um, you can see that the creases are even more. So, you know, that makes me think that the less you use of this product, the better. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier setting powder to set that concealer in place, but I'm gonna set it just on my left eye, which is the one where I used a little bit more concealer and I blended it out with a sponge. Before setting, I'm just gonna make sure that it looks smooth. And on the other eye, using my finger, I'll just go ahead and smooth the creases. All right, so before I go ahead and finish my makeup, I just wanna give you some quick thoughts on that foundation we're gonna see how it looks after a couple of hours but for now i just want to share my quick thoughts on it now the coverage is bomb like it's an extremely full coverage foundation it's a thick foundation however i don't feel like i have foundation on my face right now but if i bring a mirror up close i can see that i have something on my skin it's not one of those foundations that it's melting into your skin and you're not able to see it it's just give you a very nice coverage without being visible no this foundation you can see it sitting on your skin you can you are able to see that you have foundation on i hope that makes any sense i think that this is a foundation that you want to wear if you're going on some kind of a special occasion where you know that you're going to be taking photos you know that there are going to be cameras also if you're going on tv or i don't know if you're going to do some kind of a video or something this foundation looks absolutely stunning on camera in front of the camera you can't really tell how much foundation you're wearing right the camera is like the beauty blender it's absorbing the excess <laughs> however i don't think that i'm gonna wear this on my everyday basis i don't think that if i want to go for a natural looking skin and i want to you know my skin to look as natural as possible but still flawless i don't think that this is foundation this is the foundation that i'm gonna go with Ooh. I love how this look came out. By the way, a tutorial on this look is going to be on my Instagram. So go check it out. Follow me on my Instagram if you haven't already. Um, now it's been five and a half, almost, almost six hours since I applied the foundation and the concealer. I did my makeup, I cooked, we ate. I kind of cleaned my makeup drawers, you know, nothing really special. It uh, didn't make a huge difference, but hey, I tried. And now I'm here to share my thoughts with you on the foundation and the concealer. Now the foundation, I think that it's a good one. However, it really depends on what you're going for. So if you are a natural girl that you prefer the more like no makeup makeup looks, you like your skin to look fresh and you like just foundations that are melting into your skin that are kind of invisible there. So, you know, you're getting that um, coverage, but without the, the cakiness. 
I don't think that this foundation is for you. Of course, it's buildable, you can use less, but if you are going for that full coverage, you're gonna also get that texture that the foundations usually give you. But if you're someone who doesn't really care what people think and you just want your face to look absolutely flawless and you just want your skin to look like absolute perfection, no blemishes, no discoloration, no nothing, you just wanna cover everything up, you will love this foundation. I really love the creamy consistency. A very small amount goes a very long way, so keep that in mind. Now, something that I noticed with that foundation is that it's setting into my fine lines on my forehead and in my smile lines. You know, when I smile, you see this line here and here. It's creasing there, which makes me look a little bit older. However, I tried to kind of blend out the creases that it made on my on the half of my forehead in this part right here and I set it with some powder and it did not move after that but the areas of my face that I have like less wrinkly skin it was fine so if you have a little bit more fine lines some wrinkles here and there just keep in mind that it may set in the creases of your skin <laughs> but maybe if you use some nice primer or set it with some powder that that can fix the issue now the concealer oh well that concealer okay on the one eye that i used my finger to apply it and i didn't set it with some powder it's creasing for me and it's not beautiful now on the other eye that i used a little bit more but i also used some powder to set it it's creasing just a tiny little bit but nothing really dramatic a small amount goes from here to Australia like <laughs> it goes a very long way and if you're wondering where I'm I'm in Europe um, you can imagine you can also use it as a foundation like honestly guys with one dip of that huge applicator you can cover up your entire face I'm not even being really dramatic right now you can you can use that as a foundation I can definitely see myself using that concealer again and again and again it's affordable you don't really need a lot of it it's covering I will need to set it with powder so that it won't crease but I mean I'm doing that with almost all of my concealers so it's not a big deal for me I feel like this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm talking so much today so anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I really hope you find it helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also press the bell button next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever I post a new video and you can also follow me on my Instagram Facebook or Twitter all of the links will be down in the description box I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next next one. Bye!